Good day, good day, everyone. Mr. Economist here, and today we're on the OmniSlab server. So, a few things have changed. Um, I finished my house. Yay. Well, I finished the shell of it. Um, I'm thinking of moving the villager breeder from over there to over here because it's working but really slowly and I, it's ugly and I don't know how to incorporate it into the base. So I wanted to go over here. Um, I have not put in the nether portal yet because I've been working on other projects. This is one of those projects. Uh, this is, um, well, the sign says it all. Villagers for iron farm. There's an iron farm over in the distance there. I know I built it, I helped, and I've been providing the villagers for it. Anyway, so apparently, um, with command blocks, they can tell when you're sleeping in bed. So, Dino added a little thing on the server. I believe it's Zoomavoid did a video on it. Um, so now, like, there are a few command blocks in the on the map. We're still vanilla, but we've got some command blocks. And um, basically the command blocks allow it so that even if there's like, you know, more than more than one person online. Um, this is the iron farm by the way. Can't really see it because of the clouds, but yay, sell there, sell there, sell there, sell there. Four cells. Only two are active at the moment, we need more villages. Anyway, with the command blocks, um, so even if there's, you know, two people or more logged in, you only need one person to sleep for the weather to reset and, you know, for the night to become day. It's like that mod that's in lots of uh, FTP uh, feed the beast packs. But, um, yeah, it's completely vanilla with command blocks and I love it. It is amazing. So we're just going past the OmniSlabs temple here. Uh, this is where I've been spending a lot of my time in the last couple days. It's actually a reason why there was no episodes. Um, well, it was yesterday for me, but I'm not sure when this episode's gone out. So, recently there were no episodes, no Banished, no RimWorld. Because I had lost track of the time, and um, I had no time to record and upload and all that. So, this is the beginning of the room. I actually got to take all this back to my base. I forgot about it. Anyway, this is a hopper chain. So it starts over here in the spawn chunk. I'm not sure how far the spawn chunks go, but I just went and found the absolute beginning and I started the chain there. So, I might not have needed to put the chain or start the chain this far back, but you know, it works. So, this hopper chain leads up over here and branches off. So, it's loading. I think it, again, I'm loading one too many chunks over in that direction, but you know, better safe than sorry. So, the hopper chain just continues along branching off and the point of this was to have the iron farm loaded continuously forever and ever because it wasn't in the spawn chunks before and um, if you want to know how this works you just got to go and check out the videos by Simply Sark but basically you just need a hopper if I can click on the hopper and I'm lagging and I'm going to die eat eat Okay, well that was fun, wasn't it? Bad connections for the win. So, all you need to do is you have a hopper with an item in it facing into a new chunk. As you can see, the chunk here is 11031. Here it's 11032. So this is the new chunk, this is the boundary right here between old chunk and new chunk. So the hopper with the item in it facing into that new chunk loads this chunk. And yeah, you just loads chunks with hoppers and yeah now the iron farm is loaded forever and ever so that's awesome as long as someone's in the overworld uh, it's loaded and I'm actually thinking of extending wow I said that weird I'm thinking of extending this um, hopper chain over to underneath my base um, just so I get, can get lots and lots of villages um, I'm not sure if I want it well, it would, the, a nice side effect would be that it would um, probably result in me getting a lot more pumpkins and melons than I already do, but I've got so many pumpkins at the moment, I've got over three double chests, 
and I've got nearly two double chests of melon blocks, so I don't think I need more pumpkins or melons. Um, okay, so yeah, that's what I've been doing with, well, that's what's been taking up a lot of my time. Could I please eat? Eat. And this is what I have to put up with, guys. There we go! We ate! Amazing! Oh wow, I've got one bar. Awesome. So, um, over here, let's check out the iron farm really quick. Nothing new has really happened in the Omni Slabs temple. We got a beacon. I didn't show that last episode, but we killed the wither and we made a beacon. Did I show that? I don't even remember. I might have. I definitely showed the wither fight. Um, but yeah, over here is Dino's um, iron farms. Well, iron farm, it's one of them. So the bottom two cells are active and the top two need to be turned on with villagers. And down here is the collection room. It's not finished, obviously. We have ladders there as a joke, Dino and I. Oh look, we get to see it in action. There we go, some sound would be nice. <laughs> So, um, the golems come around, they put their head in the lava, and then they burn. And then we get open chest. Open chest. There we go. And then we get iron. And, wow. Um, hello. There we go. We get iron and gross poppies. I'll leave a stack in there in case anyone wants some. And things are happening. I wanted to record, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to. Hmm. I'm gonna cut and see what's up with the internet, and I'll be right back uh, when I can. Okay, I am back here. Uh, apparently, it was a good time to watch Netflix, or so the people in my house thought. Um, I think they're done watching Netflix because I can actually interact with things. Yay! So, yes. Oh look, we get to see the iron farm in action again. Yay! Lots of lovely iron. Anyway, I'm going to leave that for other people. I've already taken... Uh, I don't know how much. A decent amount of iron from the farm. Uh, to help cover the cost for, of the hoppers. Because down in that hopper chain there, there is about, I think it's 87 hoppers. Which, you know, it's a decent amount of iron. Six, seven stacks. Um, talking about iron, I did get quite a lot of resources from digging those tunnels uh, at the bottom, you know, the bottom of the level there. I, I built them down at Y12 out of habit. Um, I really should have built them at about Y20, because I kept on intersecting old branch mines, but anyway. Building them, building the uh, hopper chain down at Y12 did have a, you know, a nice side effect. And that is, we got a crap load of stuff. So, we've got 28 diamond ore to fortune. We have... 1, 2, 3, 4, nearly 5 stacks of redstone ore. We've got a lot of iron, quite a few. Some of that's from the farm though. We've got nearly a stack of lapis, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and a half stacks of coal. And that's all from digging holes. I didn't do any extra caving or anything, that's just from digging the, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, hopper chain. <laughs> wow, mental blank. So, I'm going to go and build this tower of resources and I'm gonna go enchant um, and then we're gonna go mine it and it's gonna be glorious and it's gonna take a long time and here we are guys about 10 minutes later <laughs> no kidding it took 10 minutes to place this thank you thunder that was almost like it was planned but it was not so um, we are at Y Y wow. We are at Y152, and um, we've got a water drop. So let's do it. And we're down at Y74. 
So that's nearly 80 blocks. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's nearly 80 blocks tall. That is the biggest resource tower I've ever built. Okay, I am back here, and that was severely boring. My god, was that boring. 20 minutes of just mining. Ugh, I've got sore arms, but... I've got this. Yeah, it's nice. And we've got uh, some of that too. So, you know. We got stuffs. So I guess I'm going to go put my redstone... How much do we get actually? Let's, can we count it? So that would be 8. That's 24. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. And an eighth. Uh, 29 stacks of redstone dust. That's nice. And then we got... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and a half stacks of lapis as well. That's not too bad. And then we got 68 diamonds, which is always welcome. Chest. There we go. And then I've got some emeralds and some coal, some more lapis. That redstone is actually welcome because I'm kind of running low on that. Which is weird because I usually don't do redstone things. And then this is basically 18 stacks of coal. Uh, plus 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. 30 stacks of coal. Uh, which is nice and I'm not going to mix with that because I actually keep my coal um, in c to trade with villagers. Um, just in case, you know, I get a blacksmith and I want to see uh, if they've got any good trades. So, yeah, I trade, I trade coal because uh, they don't accept charcoal anymore, which is a shame. Anyway, so that's what 20 minutes of mining ores that you've collected over hours and hours gets you. A load of stuff and, and sore arms. So, okay, I'm going to cut and when we come back we'll do something else. So guys, after uh, destroying that <coughs> uh, ore tower, which was very boring, I wanted to do something fun. So I've got them some supplies. Later. Uh, I've got some supplies um, with a skeleton, with the sand. Nope, soul sand. We're gonna go kill a wither. Yay! So. Before we do something like that, you know, safety first, we have to upgrade our chest plate. That is a toolsmith. That is a weaponsmith. That is a toolsmith. That is an armorer. Here we go. This is the guy I want. So, um, yeah, we're going to buy one of these bad boys. And we're going to get stuck in the door. We're going to combine it. And then I'm going to uh, head off and scout out a location to fight the wither. Uh, we're just going to do it on underground because my connection isn't the best today. And it's just myself online. Um, so, going to play it safe. Let's call it rune. Chest plate. Rune legs. Chest plate. Awesome. Alright, so I'm going to cut find someone to kill this wither. Ah, crap, I missed the ladder. And, um, yeah, then we're gonna have a little battle. Damn doors. Alright, so we're at uh, 0, 0800 here, and I just decided to dig down and we actually hit a mine shaft. <laughs> so hopefully we, um, don't get any interference from the mine shaft when we fight the wither, because that would really suck. It's already going to be hard enough to kill him at the moment since I'm getting, you know, a little bit of lag. Uh, we'll just stick a little tunnel here. We're going to play it safe. Do we hear lava? I think we're safe. Yeah, 
Okay. So, nope, we'll go music sounds, put this back down to 20. And uh, we'll get this thing going, shall we? I don't believe I've ever eaten a golden apple in survival. I wonder what effects it gives. This isn't a notch apple, just a regular one. Okay, um, we are quite a ways away from my base, so if I die, um, this area should become nicely unloaded. So, let's run away. Eat the apple. Nothing happened. What? Um, well, that's annoying. Why... why no wither? We already lost an effect. Awesome. That's really strange. I've never had that happen before. Let's uh, try that again. So we'll get the heads ready. Need our strength 2 on the bar. Here we go. Drink our regen. Drink our strength. Okay. Three, two, one, go. And now we just smack it. Awesome. And we have another. Oh, look, diamonds. Cool. So let's mine these bad boys up and get back to our base. And uh, I guess we'll build a beacon. It's not going to be full size, but um, we'll be able to get speed one until I go do some more trading. Then we'll be able to get a full size beacon. All right. So I'll see you guys at my base. All right, everyone. So we are back at my base here. Um, we're about to make the beacon. So let's get some obsidian. We need three. Now let's head over and get some glass. First glass, right? Yeah, I do. Awesome. Four, five. And let's make the beacon. You know, this is only the third beacon I've ever made in survival. I made one in my Let's Play world for Season 1. I made the one that's sitting in the Omni Slabs temple. Now I made this one. And this is the second beacon that I'm going to place in the world. And the first one to have a full beacon base. So, I forgot to get some emeralds out of the chest. Oh well. I did a lot of trading off camera. I used up over a double chest of pumpkins and melons to get the emeralds I need, but we have it. A full-sized beacon. And it rains! And it's a thunderstorm. Okay, I'm going to go sleep. <laughs> um, now the house tour, that's going to have to be for the next episode because I am running out of time here. I like to keep my episodes at about, you know, about 18 minutes from these labs. Uh, because any longer than that, and it just takes forever to upload. Like this episode's going to. But, before the episode ends, how about we, uh... How about we get some effects going? So, what do I want around my base? Hmm. Speed 2 would be nice. And regen. Is it one or the other? How does this work? Let's try it like this. Okay, let's see what happens. So I got speed 2, but I got no regen. That was the pumpkin farm firing for pumpkin melon farm. Huh, okay. Well, what if we do this? Ah, now we got speed 2 and regen. No, it's going to go down to speed, isn't it? 
Nope, now we got nothing. Nope, now we got speed. Well, this is, you know, this is still good. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, we got a full size beacon. Uh, I don't think I need regen in my base though. It's pretty safe. So I'm going to put this back to speed 2. Awesome. Let's just run around a bit. Whee! Mm. Awesome. Okay, cool. So let's go and bask in the glory of my beacon. Um, that sounded sexual. I assure you, it wasn't meant to. Anyway, the beacon. I'm going to move it underground for protection. It would be cool if I could. No, and you can't even see the house. <laughs> Anyway, so thank you very much for watching guys, bit of a derpy episode, but we got some cool things done, you know, the ore tower, killing a wither, full size beacon, that's what I call progress. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, uh, next episode we're going, going to go on a house tour and um, maybe just, yeah, a house tour and tour around the islands a bit. Um, I've done a few things off camera and I couldn't get to all of them today. And uh, we might do some exterior decorating, because the shell of the house is done. There's no furniture inside, and there's no garden around it. You know, eventually the house will be surrounded by nice little pretty things like this. At the moment it's just ugly. Well, not ugly ugly, but you know, not beautified. So um, yeah, we've got to beautify it. So we'll be doing that in the next couple episodes, and um, alright. Now I've said goodbyes about three times, so... <laughs> Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. This is Mr. Economist, signing out.